Hello everyone. I like to use small keyboard, and recently I just bought this one from AliExpress. In this video, I will talk about three QMK tricks for customizable keyboard. Maybe you will find it useful if you also use a uh, customizable keyboard, or maybe you can uh, use a software to uh, uh, put those modes into your keyboard. Okay, the first one is called mode tab. Basically, it allows two usages for one key. And now here, I will use the caps lock key for uh, example. So we all know the caps lock key are not really useful. It's usually here next to A. For Vim users, um, it's very common to swap this one to be escape key. For Linux users, it's also very common to uh, swap the cap caps lock key for control key. It is actually possible to put the both keys at caps lock because escape and control, uh, they are in some sense uh, orthogonal to each other. Because when you uh, use control, you have to hold the key. But when you is use escape, you don't hold the key, you just tap the key. So tap and hold are two different modes. That's how you combine those two keys together, uh, both at caps lock key. Of course, it's not just for uh, the caps lock key. Uh, with a customizable keyboard, you can define it on any key. For example, you can define control key on A. So when you tap A, it's A. When you press and hold A, it becomes control. Uh, of course, you can define all other combinations that make sense to you. Okay, the next concept is layers. Um, you are already familiar with layers. For example, when you uh, press the Shift key, at the same time with the A key, you get a capital letter A. So it is as if you have a second layer with capital letters or with the special um, symbols on top of 1, 2, 3, 4, for example. So uh, with customizable keyboard, you can define customizable, customized layers. For example, for this 40% keyboard, there's no number keys. So we need to define, uh, say, a numbered layer for the numbers. Then we can you say one of those keys to trigger that layer, just like shift triggers another layer. Let's say we use this key and let's say we call it, um, here I'm actually using the QMK uh, symbols. So MO1 means if you press that key, it will trigger layer one. So we can say define A to be number one, that the one key. So when we press, say, this Alt key, let's say this Alt key is defined to be this M01. So when we press that one, and we also press A, then we will get number one. OK, um, there are more tricks uh, uh, along this line. So the next one, so um, you can imagine, we can define one here, but what about the uh, exclamation symbol. So if we need to press the Alt and also Shift and the A, it's a little bit too much trouble. So it's possible to define one key, one triggering key that automatically add the Shift key for you. So for example, in this way, uh, we can define one key to be this uh, code. Uh, which means when you press this key, it will trigger layer one. And also we, it will uh, hold the shift for you. For example, let's say the banana key is uh, defined to be um, this key. So when we hold the banana and press A, we will get the exclamation symbol. Okay, there are other tricks uh, related to layer. So um, for example, we don't have to hold, say, th this Alt key in order to trigger the numbered layer. We can just press one key, 
let's say we define it somewhere and when we press this one key it triggers the first layer only for the next key press so you don't need to hold that key to trigger number one you can just press this key once release and press a and then that key press becomes one hope it makes sense okay there are other other tricks for the layers so um, this is related to the previous trick so you can see uh, tap and hold are two different modes to use a key so we can define one key uh, such that when you press uh, when you press and hold it it triggers another layer say layer number one but when you just tap it it is just one other key for example uh, this specific code means the backspace key or the back delete key for example let's say this one is that that key so when you just press this one you get back space but when you hold this one it triggers the layer number one okay the last trick is called the one shot shift this is uh, you already see something like this before in the previous slide so um, suppose you define one key to have this code so when you tap it once and release and you tap another key uh, that key will become capitalized but if you just hold this one and then uh, tap that key at the same time it will also be capitalized it's like uh, you can use the shift key in two different modes either you hold it or you tap it and then the next one becomes shifted okay these are just three three tricks for QMK they are relative simple tricks they are more complicated ones but I hope this will uh, give you some ideas of uh, what kind of customer customer customization you can do um, even if you don't have a customizable keyboard you can use software to mimic these kind of behaviors hopefully that will make your uh, work easier increase your productivity okay that's all I want to talk I want to talk about today um, thanks for watching